Hey, what's up? This is Chosen, and in this video, I'm going to be going over the seasonal leaderboard so far. Now that we're about exactly 30 days into the season, I wanted to go through and just kind of show how everything is shaping up. And I'm going to go into some more advanced numbers like how many hours per day each player is playing to get that rank, and then the difference between hardcore and softcore in playtime, and then going over the builds and the paragon and all that type of stuff for the leaderboards. So let's dive right into it. All right, let's just start with softcore and start at the top at Barbarian and work our way down. So the solo Barbarian for softcore is actually one of the more interesting ones. This Barbarian is four GRs ahead of any other Barbarian, but if I look at the Paragon, it's only 1287 and this person's only playing 4.8 hours a day. If you're curious how I know how many hours per day they're playing, off camera, I went through their profiles and added up all the hours played and then divided by how many days in the season. So that's how I know, even though I'm not showing you on camera that I'm calculating that. So yeah, this person is only playing 4.8 hours a day, which is the lowest out of everybody on the softcore leaderboard and is number one by four GR levels. So this person tearing it up on Barbarian. Oh, and if you're curious about the build, it is the Raycor six-piece Hammer the Ancients build. And let's go into Solo Crusader. Three GRs ahead of number two. And it is tier 117. The build is the six-piece Akan featuring Condemn. And the element is Holy. And this person is 2800 Paragon, playing 18 hours a day. So you can see quite the difference there between the Crusader and the Barbarian in playtime so far. Those, uh, that's actually the lowest playtime on softcore and the highest playtime on softcore is 18 hours per day and then 4.8 hours a day is the lowest. Let's go to Demon Hunter. It's going to be tier 109 running the mixture of the Natalia Marauder with the uh, Sentry build and this person is actually featuring fire. I've seen a lot of people doing cold with this build, but... They're choosing to go with fire so they can take advantage of the cinder coat resource cost reduction, which is really important in this build. And that's why you see the topaz and the helm as well. And this person's playtime is 9.7 hours a day. Under Solo Monk is tier 110. 1717 Paragon doing the six piece Soon Woko set, Wave of Light build. And this person's playtime is 11 hours a day. Solo Necromancer is going to be tier 116, running the Pestilence Corpse Lance build, and Paragon 2280. This Necromancer's playtime is 16.2 hours a day, so up there pretty close to that Crusader at 18 hours a day. The Solo Witch Doctor is going to be tier 109, running 6-piece Eric'hir Gargantuan build. Or no, no, this is a Firebats. I believe somebody was running the Gargantuan build. Maybe that's on Hardcore. Oh, here's a Gargantuan build. Okay, when I looked at it a couple days ago, one of them was a Gargantuan. But anyway, the number one is 1865 Paragon, six-piece Eric here, Firebats build, and the Witch Doctor is playing 10.3 hours a day. The Solo Wizard is tier 113. Running six-piece Firebird channeling build at Paragon 1540, playing 7.3 hours a day. So the average playtime for the number one slots on softcore is about right at 11 hours a day. So let's get into hardcore now. Already same drill. Let's just go to hardcore, start at the top with Barbarian, and work our way down. We've actually got 108 for the number one Barbarian. At Paragon 1499, running the six-piece rake or hammer the ancients build. And this person has played seven hours a day. Under Solo Crusader is tier 112. And running you that six-piece Akan Condemn build. The Seder is playing 5.8 hours a day. Solo Demon Hunter is tier 105 and this person is running the cold variant of it on the heart on the softcore leaderboard they were running the fire variant of this build but on hardcore they're actually going with the cold so far 
and this is Paragon 1317 running the mixture of the Natalia Marauder Sentry build. And the Demon Hunter on Hardcore is playing 6.3 hours a day. Solo Monk is actually the same person as Barbarian. So very good there by Darth being number one on the Barbarian and the Monk boards. And Tier 107. Paragon 1466. And it's the same as the Barbarian playing seven hours a day because it's the same person. Running the six-piece Sunwoko set Wave of Light build. Solo Necromancer is going to be tier 110. Paragon 1890 running the Pestilence Corpse Lance build. And the Necromancer is playing 12 hours a day. Solo Witch Doctor is going to be tier 102. Paragon 1052. So I believe that's the lowest Paragon on any leaderboard. At, at least in Solo. 1052 is your lowest Solo number one. So... Good job to this person here. And they are running the, looks like, six-piece Helltooth Gargantuan build. So two different builds uh, at the number one slot there for hardcore and softcore for the Witch Doctor. And this person is playing 3.7 hours a day, which is the lowest out of any of the uh, number one solo leaderboard spots. And then for Solo Wizard, we've got Tier 109. Wait, no. Solo Wizard is tier 109, Paragon 1236, running that Talrasha channeling build. And on Softcore, they were running the Firebird variant of this. So we're seeing a few little subtle differences here between Softcore and Hardcore. And this Wizard that cleared 109 is playing 11.8 hours a day. And in general, hardcore players are averaging 7.6 hours a day. Alrighty, that's kind of your look at the solo leaderboards one month into Season 13. Just a couple quick notes here in conclusion. If we compare hardcore to softcore, we've got the average number one rank on softcore playing 11 hours a day. And the average number one rank on hardcore playing 7.6 hours a day. So... Don't have to play quite as much on Hardcore per day, it would seem, to get that number one spot. And this season looks to be a little bit better so far in terms of botting. I remember last season I did a video similar to this, and there was people with 22 hours a day, 23 hours a day playtime. And so far, the number one person is 18 hours a day, which, yes, that's a ton, but that's at least realistic. And then most people are down in the... 10 to 12 range even going down to like eight or nine hours a day for number one spots so that's very doable for dedicated players so it looks like the number one spots are a lot better botting wise this season at least so far and yeah it's a little bit less play time for hardcore versus softcore and the builds are differing just a little bit and as we get closer to the end of the season i'll probably do another one of these videos to kind of wrap everything up about the leaderboards but yeah hope you're enjoying season 13 have a good day thanks for watching peace